Hello viewers and welcome back to another episode of my Pokemon Y Egglock. In the last episode we headed up for the start of Route 14 and today we're going to finish off going up there. Um, someone suggests I do it previously, so previously on the Pokemon Y Egglock. We evolved our Quilava Luster into a Typhlosion and also our Hone Edge Subaki into a Deblade. And that's all that really happened. Napion can evolve but I need to record at night at some point, which means I have to sort of do that at night at some point so <laughs> whenever I can do that yeah I have to do that so I might get done tonight who knows okay so it's just annoying for me because I always record early in the afternoon so let's just get on with it. battle that guy already I actually have repels now because I did buy some repels so good game me good game let's get to the bottom super repel and we shall then be able to not get Pokemon battles which is quite nice because that gets quite annoying especially when you're trying to do other stuff so let's keep going and let's battle off this little fairy girl here. Now I got Reptile up front, even though it's Dragon type, it should be okay because it's got a nice Poison Barb and Poison Fang with its uh, ability as well. So Floets, you know, it's not going to last too long. It could last a while, but who knows? We will just have to see, won't we, Reptile? Reptile is pretty beast, so you know, don't mess with the Reptile guys. Don't mess with it, yeah. Look, it's just going to go and do a clean 100% damage, even of oh, more than 100, obviously. 100 or more percent. And that's a nice clean level up there for Reptar. Level 37, so it's at level 42 at levels uh, of all, sorry. So it's just oh, not bad. Dragon Tail, 60 to 90, and this is 80 to 100. So yeah, definitely get a Dragon Tail. Because we don't usually use Dragon Tail in, yeah, we don't, we don't really usually want to send a Pokemon out of battle, so it's not too helpful. Better just to go for the higher power. Now, Slurpuff's coming out. Uh, this might take two turns to take out, but I think Reptar can still handle it. Cotton Spore is gonna lower my speed. Yeah, my speed. Ah, well, if we do it in, uh, almost in one, actually, not bad. And the poison's off. The poison is off. Badly poisoned, actually, thanks to the Poison Fang, which is awesome. I'm just gonna take the turn and I'm gonna switch out to someone who needs leveling up, which is Subaki. And obviously Subaki is gonna resist any fire type move, uh, any uh, fairy type moves rather, that is thrown at us, which is nice. So we'll send Subaki out. And okay, aromatherapy. Oh god damn, wow, the, the strats, the strats are here guys. Goodbye poisoning, oh my lord. Okay, well at least we have Shadow Sneak that's just going to finish them off anyway, so, or it should finish them off, who knows. <laughs> yeah, there they are, gone, you're done Slurpuff, you're done, you're done son. And that is Slurpuff finished. There we are, Reptar, and everyone gains some experience. And Fairy Girl Imogen was defeated. Yeah, yeah, guys. See, not even three minutes in, we're already in our first battle because we were owning that shit up. So hopefully, we today we hopefully today we can get on to doing the gym actually because that would be quite helpful. Um, you know, getting moving a bit further on. We've got haven't got cut. We, we do have cut. Luster knows cut. That doesn't. Yes, it does indeed. Luster is going to use cut and allow us access to this TM TM61 Will O Wisp, which I could teach to someone in the event of needing it, I guess. <laughs> we just have to see in the future. Also gonna grab this berry, which is a Roselli berry, which I'm not sure if it's gonna help me at all. I think it's one like weakens a super effective attack or something. So hopefully that's gonna be nice and useful at some point. Lovely battle girl over, uh, not bad, battle girl, ghost girl. She's just gonna give me a toxic, which is nice because that could also be helpful um, to teach to someone. And I'm gonna quickly surf over. Okay, I can't. I've got surf. I've got a surfer, of course. <laughs> Mentioned that the other episode didn't really take any notice myself. Says so Shauna. And we shall then be able to go into the scary house, which is just gonna take a couple minutes and be boring as fuck because it's just a scary house. I actually covered the uh the scary house the other day in Pokemon Myths and Mysteries because um it was an interesting myth and sort of thing. Uh, faceless men. Like who are they? And I actually saw another um another sort of idea online after I finished the video I saw another one okay now you see when he's telling the story see the camera's moving about sort of sort of thing yeah he's moving about yeah moving about moving about moving about and then he sort of gets a bit closer and he's sort of moving it in a serpent like fashion like a snake pretty much oh okay and then he just do it like that okay if I'd let him talk we would have gone further in but like a snake um and what, what snakes do we know from X and Y? Zygarde. And what does Zygarde have around its neck? It has a frill with five points on it that have like eyes or you know little jewels that glisten. So that look like eyes. So sort of thing, you know? You get what I'm saying here? So it could be Zygarde, but probably not. Probably not Zygarde. <laughs> it's just an idea. So we managed to get for that in under a minute actually, which isn't too bad. Um, because you know, it's cool. Uh did we get charged? Because we denied the tips, I don't know if we got charged or not. Hmm. 
Ah well, Trevor's gonna go off and Shauna is gonna stay there. Shauna just stays, everyone else leaves and Shauna's like, I'm just gonna stay here, you know, because I'm, I'm a I'm a ratchet hole. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go down here and get the item. Managed to get stuck. There's the item there. Ah. Nice spell tag. Woo! It's gonna help boost ghost type, ghost type moves. Which could be helpful to give to someone in the, in the end. Oh my lord! My lord! There we are. Now we're up here. We can actually do some stuff. Or, oh, like, run. Whereas in the fucking deep wall we have to walk. Which is annoying. There we are. And we have arrived in Laver City. Now. No oh, shit. Ready to do that? Why did I do that? There we are. TM41 Torment. That's what I wanted. Because the lovely boy gave it to us. Because he's just giving out TMs for the fun of it. I'm going to go to the clothes shop. See what clothes we could possibly buy here. What have we got? We've got a nice stylish pink shirt with a striped shirt as well. Red skinny jeans, which might be good actually. Um, and short boots. Uh, brown. I need some boots actually. Yeah, that's a good idea. V-neck. Skinny jeans. Short boots again. Okay, let's just go straight into the changing room and we'll choose when we're in there. Because that's the way it'll work. That's the way it shall work. Okay. Uh, gonna look. I was looking at the... Uh, no, I don't think we need any of these, do we? No. There we are. That's the red ones. I was looking at the red ones, wasn't I? Do those fit better? They do a bit. They blend in with the bag a bit more. Uh, get some blue skinny jeans. Yeah, maybe. Brown ones. Okay, we've already... Yeah, those are the ones we already have, actually. Skinny jeans, we can buy those. Sort of blend in a bit better, but... Um, maybe the red ones... Uh, depends what they look like with the boots. Because there's red boots here as well, so it's not... Don't know what we want there. Don't wanna wear it all red, do we guys? Because that's just unfashionable. Uh nah. Ugh, don't like the colour either. I guess we'll be sticking with these. I think those that's the colour at the moment, yeah. Two-tone bag. Olive, that's gonna look absolutely terrible. Um how does that one look on us? Yeah, and the olive one's gonna look like bleh. Bleh! Let's go back to the red one. Uh feather accessory on my hat. How would that look? Meh, I don't like it. Don't like the hat I've got on either. Is there a better a outdoors cap? That's a bit more stylish than, uh, than what we have already. And then the feather. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do that. Why not? That looks good, I think, guys, doesn't it? That looks pretty good. Like this. Oh, yeah. Got some nice red boots on. Finally, off, off of the was it brown boots we had before. I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll leave and... Yep, gonna buy them because we have enough money. We have swag, and there we are. I'm not sure how the uh, the t-shirt looks. We we'll have to think about switching that at some point. But oh well, we look good overall. Um, let's go and heal up for the sake of it, and then we we'll head to the gym, I guess. Head to the gym because we have to do the gym before the poker battle. Poker battle, the poker ball factory. So I guess we'll go and do that, shall we? Uh, is there a, yeah, we can catch Pokemon in Laver City actually guys, so I guess we'll go and do that, and then we'll go and hatch a Pokemon for it, which would be nice. Uh, let me see, yeah, we can use the fishing rod here. Uh, I also need to surf to get over there, don't I? I think, or can I, no, I can walk over here. Not bad. There we are, an ether. I never seem to use ethers. Nether. Nether, nether, never in my life. Can I fish here? No, I have to fish over there. Okay. Cry, cry, cry. Let's go over here, and we shall go and fish. Bum, 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 bum. That's a bike. Let's get off the bike. Actually, I need to put my, my good rod on, don't I? The good rod we got, because that's going to get us a high level Pokemon. Uh, and I used it rather than registering it, but oh well. Nice green gold rod. Good rod. Gold rod? Wow, okay. <laughs> there we are. What Pokemon do we have the pleasure of greeting today? Basculin is a random guess. Yep. Basculin. In. Basculin. In. Blah, blah. Basculin. Wow. What level is it? 30? 25. Okay. Uh, I reckon a Sarah Sneak is not going to take it out, so we'll be good using one of these. Let's see how much damage he does. No, don't kill it. Okay, didn't didn't, didn't, kill, didn't kill it. And the takeout did not affect me, which is good because it means they can't kill themselves. Go for the Great Ball. See if we can catch this thing. And yeah, that'll be that. And that will be that. One. Two. God damn it. We haven't really got any um, moves that can put them to sleep either, do we? Because we lost our sleepers and stuff. So I guess we'll just throw another, another Great Ball. I think I must have an Ultra Ball somewhere, so I guess we can use that if we need, so... It's all good, guys. It's all good. One. Two. Okay. Not good. Hum, 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 hum. 
I mean, this is our lowest level Pokemon, so I wouldn't really want to go out and use something else, because we don't have any moves that would... Uh, no. Maybe Aqua Jet, but I doubt it could start from there. Swift? Nah. Okay, we're stuck here. We just have to throw Pokeballs, don't we, guys? Let's see, I've got... Must have an Ultra Ball. Actually, I have some Dive Balls, so... I guess I can use that, because Basculin lives underwater, so Dive Ball is going to work against it, so... Let us see how well it does. One, two, three, four. Caught it. Not bad. Awesome. Not bad, Basculin. Not even bad. And level 37 for Subaki. Yeah, not bad, Subaki. Not bad. Okay, Basculin's deal with that. the Pokedex. Not like we really care, though. Red and blue, red and blue basket and usually do not get along, but sometimes members of one school mingle and mingle. I can't speak. Okay, give up. I give up. I give up. Screw it. Let us go and grab an egg for it. Actually, now, which will be fun. It means that's our Pokemon for adversity done. No, no repels, please. No repels. <laughs> Don't want to use it in the first place again. Okay, we already healed up, so we'll just go in and do the PC stuff. We might finish the whole gym today. I doubt it though. We'll probably get about half of it done ish who knows okay and that's where basket is nice careful nature i'm gonna have to just pause for a second okay so that's good all i have to do is open up the uh the random number generator and such because i couldn't do that while recording sort of thing and let's generate a random number between 1 and 279 which i believe is how many eggs we have we have 272 so all the way along in the 10th box the last box that's 270 there 271 272 Okay, let's switch out, and I guess I will go and hatch it, guys. I'll be seeing you in a second. Well, guys, I got it all set up, you know, use the hatching power and stuff, and then it hatched within, like, one cycle. So that's fun, and I have the nickname here. I have uh, ideas of what it could be, but I have no idea. So I guess we'll have to see when we hatch the egg. What could this Pokemon be, I wonder? The Pokemon is a... Badoo! Exactly what I was sort of predicting slash hoping for. The nickname is going to be Death Petal, because Roserade is an absolute beast. A beast, I tell you guys. So, Death Petal it is. Death... Oops, I spelled Death wrong. Death Petal. Oops, that's also wrong. Death Petal. Awesome. So, nice female Rosa, or nice female Badoo, rather. Uh, let's check it out. So, I just activated the hatching power. So, that's going to be there for eight minutes. <laughs> so, that'd be fun. Um, poison points absorb Giga Drain Extra Sensory, which is not even bad. And it's a nice nature, too. Nice, modest nature. Sweet. Sweet. And we shall go and pop it in the PC. I need to also train up the Pokemon we hatched last episode, which was a. I have no idea. No idea. I need to go back to box one. Um, oh, the low town, of course. Jesus. 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 Nice. Jesus. And also Death Petal as well. He's now training up. So, let's. I'll do that off screen, hopefully, if I remember. Because I have terrible memory when it comes to that. Uh, I guess we'll then start off with Subaki. Or, yeah, Subaki. There's no point training Nappy on at the moment, really, because it can't evolve quite yet. Or I don't want it to level up and evolve when I'm not recording at night, sort of thing. Okay, so I just have to go for a second then. Sorry everyone, but let's get on with it. Just checking the team again. Because that's what I want to do, and that's what I'm doing, so deal with it. Deal with it, guys. Deal with it. Uh, screw everyone else here, just going to go straight to the gym. And go for the battle. We have the Gengar right to pick up at some points, but really, that's not a huge priority since we don't actually have a Gengar to a Mega Revolve. We don't actually have any Pokemon that can Mega Revolve, I don't think, so that's fun. Cry, cry. We want to Mega Revolve at some point, please. Okay, let's just get on and we'll battle these, what are they called? Um, Furuso, uh, yeah, Furuso girls. Furuso girls, They're, the only other time you see these girls is um, in the uh, Sushi High Roller, that's the one. And obviously you battle them there, which is cool. But uh, this is apart from that, the same time you see them, which is Cry. Because they are pretty cool characters, you know, each having their own individual sort of thing. So, let's go for that sh almighty Shadow Sneak here. The uh, proud Shadow Sneak. Uh, level 38, really. Really, did any? Don't use Nuzzle, please. Charge me, okay. We can deal with Charge me, I think. Because we have that nice deep sea scale. Yeah, it took it like a boss. Oh, come on, really? Oh, really? Really? Oh, well. 
go for another Shadow Sneak, and then after that, another one will probably take it out as well, so we're all good. Okay, rest. Oh my, really? What is life? What is life? Wow, the den has rest. Fine, I'll have to deal with it then, I guess. Let's go for the Shadow Sneak again. Most powerful move against this thing, most likely, because of our stab. And yeah. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to use Shadow Sneak again, and it's going to go for the, no, another rest, isn't it? When it wakes up. Because that's just how noob this girl is. It's just how it's going to go down. Okay, they didn't wake up, so we're good, actually. If it had woken up, though, I highly, highly uh, think it would. Well, highly, highly think. Highly, highly assume. No, um. I don't know. Don't even know. Uh, uh, no, I give up. I give up. Oh well. Tsubaki. Gain some experience. Azumarill. Okay, Azumarill is a bit, bit of a tougher cookie to take out, so I'm going to switch out to. Let's go to Star. Star can just take this thing, wipe it. Obviously, it's going to take some nasty damage from Azumarill, because Azumarill is a powerhouse. But apart from that, yeah, we should be good. Intimidates also are going to help us out a bit, which is nice. Didn't think of that. Rain Dance. Oh dear. Uh oh. This could be bad, actually. <laughs> Azumarill with a Rain Dance up. Uh oh. Too bad we have Thunder, because that would have been like, oh, bitch, plan backfired. Um, but the spark is going to almost take it out, and the double edge comes off. Okay. Which is going to take a amount of self, so. Good game, Azumarill. Good game, yeah. Did really well there. <laughs> Managed to get some rain up, and then use the double edge. So strong, so beautiful. Obviously. Bon, bon, da, da, ba, da, da, da. I love the gym music. Ah, oh, so cool. Okay. Anyway, I looked up to Valerie so much that I came. Okay, came for her. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm a disgusting human being. We all know this. We all know this, guys. Aromatis has arrived, guys. Aromatis has arrived. The good thing about uh, obviously Subaki is she's a steel type, which means she ni nicely resists the fairy type stab, which is good. Sort of cancels it out. Or more than cancel that actually. And the charm is gonna harshly reduce my attack, unfortunately. Why has the remedy's got a, a bow on its butt? What is up with that really? Really? Okay, I'll well, attack harshly fell, so it might be good to go to a special attacker, except I don't think we actually have any. Wow, my whole team is full of physical attackers. Oh, oh, oh no wait, luster's a special attacker, so I guess we had a luster. It's level 40 as well. You we can still we can you can tell guys we're still underleveled. We are still underleveled here. Um, but you know. Imagine if we'd missed out all the uh, all the pointless battles in the next in the last gym rather, because that would have that would have just we would be like level 35 or something. Okay, we'll get off the flame wheel, and we'll just yeah get the power off. Nice special attack. Oh, and it did nothing. Attract. Oh my lord. At least we got to see uh, Typhlosion's amazing flame sort of necklace there. Uh, we'll get off another flame wheel, I guess. Hopefully, Typhlosion can break past the love. It didn't. God damn it. Moonblast, we can take another like two of these, so yeah, another two of those after this before we even think about switching out. Hopefully we can break past the love again. Come on, Duster, do it. Obviously it, it, it luster, lust, love, but oh well. <laughs> Flail, oh dear, that could be bad. Okay, we can take another attack, because the flame wheel is going to take him out if we hit it. Obviously if we don't, that's cry, but come on, Luster. Yes, you did. Good game! We got the remedies gone. Defeated level 40 when we're like level 37. It's not bad. Leveled up to level 38 though, so we're all, we're all good now, guys. We're all good. <laughs> we might struggle against the Sylveon. Actually, no, wait, I don't think we'll struggle too much against the Sylveon since Sylveon's a special defensive tank and we have pretty much all physical attackers, so this shouldn't be too bad. Okay, that girl is done. There's the hatching power going. And what have we got? This girl up here. Okay. Who do you want to put out front this time? Maybe not Tsubaki, since it, uh, you know, didn't do it. I don't know. It's already level 38 anyway, so I'll put Raptor out front. Could be a risky move, but who cares? Hello! Don't we just look like a bunch of dolls in a dollhouse? Oh, wow! It's not like I didn't know what that gym was based off of. Stupid girl. Blossom. Klefki has come out. Okay. What have we got against the Klefki, though? Because we can't use Poison Fang. God damn, we can't. Use Ice Fang, goddamn. We can't use Dragon Claw, so I guess it's the Crunch. Which is gonna suck. But we'll go for it anyway. In prison, I don't think it knows Crunch, so we'll be cool there. 
Let's see what we got. Yeah, Crunch goes off and... Oh my lord, I did nothing. Oh, no, it's defense foul, so we could be in could be in a, we're short here, guys. What's going to go for this time? Foul play, which is, isn't too bad. I mean, we have a high attack stat, so it is quite bad, but at least it's not super effective, eh? Crunch again. This thing's probably got Draining Kiss as well, which is what I need to watch out for, because that thing is going to, uh, you know, not, not fare well. Uh, I'm going to switch out now, actually, to Doomsday. If they use Foul Play, we'll be fine. If they use something else, we should also be fine, because Doomsday is pretty bulky. So we'll see where that goes there. Doomsday arrives. Foul play again. We're going to resist that. Even though our attack stat is pretty high. It doesn't do too much. And I guess we can just finish them off with an Aqua Jet here. Nice powerful Aqua Jet Torment. Can't use the same two moves in a row. Shouldn't be too bad though because we have Aqua Tail as well as Aqua Jet. So. And that's the Klefki on. Good game, Klefki. Good game. Why does its bottom of its key chain break every time it faints? Is that something to do with its life force? Does it need a life force to keep it alive or something? I don't quite know. Let's go for the Aqua Tail here. Got the Aqua Tail off. And that's gonna one it kill actually. Wow, not bad. <laughs> what is the last Pokemon to come out? Uh, it's gonna be a Granbull. Okay. Okay. Okay, that Granbull. Calm down. Let's go out to... I feel like I'm going to Sabaki for this. Don't quite know why. I just feel like it's going to be a good choice. Unless Granbull has Earthquake, we should be fine. But who knows? Who knows? Headbutt. Yeah, we're going to resist that. Oh, it doesn't actually affect me, so that's good. Uh, I guess we'll just go for the Shadow Sneaks. See where that gets us. And then, yeah, that'll be that. Oh, okay. Critical hit there, actually. So, Raw is going to send me out. But at least that means I get a free switch. So I'm not too I'm not too bothered about it to be honest. Uh, Doomsday is the one that comes back out though, so that kind of sucks because I didn't want Doomsday to come out. I wanted to train some more Pokemon, but fine. I suppose I just take the Gramble out from where it is. That was a crit actually. Wow. Lick is going to do some damage, but not much. So and then I just finish him off with an Aqua Jet. So that battle was GG because Doomsday is a beast. <laughs> it would seem at least. <laughs> oh, so good against every gym for God's sake. Apart from obviously the last gym, yeah, that was a bit that was given though. And the gym for that actually. <laughs> all, all the trainers though. Yeah. First so girl Blossom was defeated. Okay, I don't know how many girls we have left to defeat though. Uh it's not too many, I don't think. Let's see, there's the one in the center I don't think we battled, although we might have done that. This one we haven't battled, so I guess we'll go and battle her. Or I guess we will battle her. Let's go and check the Pokemon though. Um I'm gonna keep Raptor out front. I don't know how many super potions I have left, so I'll just go straight into the battle, and if we lose Pokemon, we lose Pokemon. I'm a very carefree guy. Slurpuff's coming in, guys. Slurpuff is here. We've already seen a Slurpuff, though. Stop being favoritist. Stop being a favoritist. Okay, so I guess I'm going to switch here straight away. Although I could stay in. Okay, fine, we're staying. Go for the Poison Fang. Draining Kiss. Hope it doesn't take me out. That would suck if it takes me out. No, 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 no. Damn it. That was my fault. Should have switched out, for fuck's sake. But I got too cocky. Ah, well. Uh, let's go into, I guess, Star, since it's the only non-level 38. Slowpath is level 40 as well, so that kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. I think Drain Kiss is a physical move. Is it physical? No, I think it's actually special. My bad. Let's go for the Spark, see how much damage we can do. Okay, less than half, but meh. Draining Kiss again. Okay, we survived it, so I guess we can survive another of those two. Uh, I guess we have to as well, because, damn, it's healing health points up like a boss there. Spark it again. Paralyzed, yes, not bad. And it used Energy Ball this time. Changing its strategy up, wow. Star almost died, but, hmm, it's got Energy Ball and it's got Draining Kiss. I mean, Tsubaki's going to resist both of those, so I'm going to switch it. It could be Tsubaki or Luster, but Luster's lower health points, so... We're going to do Sabaki. Obviously, Sabaki's got the deep sea scale too, which is going to help out there. So, yeah. Aroma Therapy is going to get rid of its paralysis again. Damn, these guys with the strats though. Second time today with the strats. Okay. Let's go for the Shadow Sneak. We won't take it out, I don't think, because it's pretty bulk. But we can always try. Nope, didn't take it out. Energy Ball, we're going to resist, I believe, so that'd be good. Yeah, we resist that bitch. Should have gone for the Draining Kiss just to get some more health points back, even though it's not going to do much to me at all. But we'll get the uh, final attack off, and that'll be stuff I've gone. So, unfortunately, we just lost Reptar. My bad. Totally my fault, guys. Um, I should have really switched out, but I thought I'd be faster, but obviously I'm not. It's a bit weird. Yeah, it's a Slurpuff. 
I mean, it is three levels higher. It was three levels higher. <laughs> um, so, oh, oh well. Okay, I think that's all the battles done here, though. Uh, I think we've battled all of them, to be honest. Uh, I can't remember when we haven't battled. Let us see. Yeah, there's no one here, though, so no one to battle up here. Let's go down to this one. It's probably going to take me out to the start, actually. Nope. This is just a bathroom. We can sit on the toilet if we want to. Ta da da! But no, we're not going. Are we going to go and use this one and then go down to this room? Except again, there's no one here, so I have to leave this room again and go back to this room. We have battled this person, I do believe. So I think if we go down this one, is that the f go back to the start? Yes, it does. Okay, let's head outside and we'll put Raptor on the PC since unfortunately I was a twat and lost it. Totally my fault, guys. Just hate me. You guys hate me already, but yeah, hate me more. Hate me more, guys. Okie dokie. Let's go and do that. Put Reptar in the dead box. Cry, cry, that's our 12th Pokemon we lost. Let's tip the Poison Barb just in case. Now, who are we going to replace it with? Interesting. Water type is a no. Rock type, maybe actually. We could put Cold Rage on the team. We also got another Tyrant, but I just stopped using a Tyrant, so you know, I could use a different one here. So I think I'm probably going to put Cold Rage on the team. Level up, obviously. And that'll be a good member of the team. Being probably a Puppetar, or maybe just a Lavatar still, who knows. Um, but yeah, so that'll be good. I'll probably do it, or we'll do it off screen, same as uh, with these two guys down here. I'll level them up, and I guess I'll be seeing you next time, guys. I think I'm going to end the episode here since, you know. We just have the gym battle next, uh, gym leader battle left to do, and obviously we can do that next episode, and then go up to the Pokeball Factory. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below, answer the questions there that'll be in the comments, and I guess I'll be seeing you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.